The Star Police in Scotland has done it again. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, I'm just your friendly, loudmouth, American, Tyler. When people think about the United Kingdom, of course, they think of England. And of course, the Irish. The Irish, the Irish, Irish. As for the Welsh, the only thing that I really know from Wales is the fact that they have an entire town that is so unpronounceable. Just up the road from Clan by the Push Gwingish, go get a Quindrobos, Clan to Silio, go go go. Clan by the Push Gwingish, go get a Quindrobos, Clan to Silio, go go go. Clan by the Push Gwingish, go get a Quindrobos, Clan to Silio, go go go. How in the hell? Am I supposed to pronounce that long ass word? And of course, the Scottish are exactly like the people from Braveheart. <laughs> of all of the freaking English accents out there, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not really sorry, but I'm sorry, but the Scottish accent is like the most difficult accent to understand. And this is coming from a person who's a native English speaker. Do you guys know that trailer from Wreck-It Ralph? Well, guess what? During that part where that Scottish girl spoke in that trailer, I had to rewatch it at least five different times to order to like understand the words that was coming from her mouth. Besides me just talking smack about Scottish people, something really serious happened in Scotland. Breaking news! After APPG Brit Muslims and CPG Islamophobia met with party leaders in Scotland yesterday. Today, all Scottish political parties. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I had to do that for my Scottish accent. Today, all Scottish political parties have agreed to formally adapt the APPG. Brit Muslim definition of Islamophobia. And of course, the parties that were listed are the Scottish Labour Party, the SPM Party, the Scottish Liberal Democrat Party, the Scottish Greens Party, and the Scottish Conservative Party. Gee, how do they really define this Islamophobia according to them? Islamophobia is rooted and racism, and it's a type of racism that targets expression of Muslimness or perceived Muslimness. First of all, let's be really clear about the words that we're using. For example, of course, Islam refers to religion, it means submission to God, whereas a phobia is basically an irrational fear. However, how is it irrational to criticize Islam? Because ultimately, Islam is not a race, it refers to a religion, and so therefore, if you criticize Islam, that in of itself is not a racial act. Even if we were to say, for some strange, odd reason, that criticizing Islam is indeed a racial act, that still does not justify criminalizing that speech for no good reason. Even if somebody was a complete dick, that still does not justify them going to jail or paying a fine simply because they hurt your feelings. I mean, seriously, why would somebody be fine or go to jail because they criticize a religion? Like, how is this, how is this a debate in 2019, honestly? Now let's be clear. Let's be perfectly clear, okay? There is such a thing as anti-Muslim settlements, basically hating people just because they're Muslim. And honestly, I will say for sure that does exist. However, criticizing a religion or attacking somebody because they're Muslims, they're totally different things. And by using the word Islamophobia, you're basically trying to say that honestly criticizing like the religion is a bad thing. However, it's not really the case in the slightest. Honestly, I'm not surprised about this. 
Mostly because the UK does not appreciate free speech. Like for example, besides Count Dankula, back in the 1980s, they had something called the Video Nasties. And Video Nasties were basically films that were censored and edited for the UK market or sometimes banned. Also, the conservatives in the UK do not like porn at all. And matter of fact, you have to go in person to actually get porn in the UK now. And also, certain types of porn in the United Kingdom is also banned in that country. I honestly cannot imagine like a British person going to a stand to get their porn license. Oh, hello, Gatna. I want to just wank my really today. So, in conclusion, the British people are awesome. The politics, just, wow, the politics. Yes, 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 I know I was taking the piss on the British in this video, but guess what? There are a lot of things from the UK that I definitely like. For example, I believe that the UK has the best spoken English. Also, Shakespeare is awesome. I love Fish and Chip. I love Harry Potter. I love Mighty Monty. Sorry, oh my god, I can't think right now. Monty Python. Yes, I like that show too. It's really awesome. Just also Richard Dawkins and also like uh, Christopher Christopher Hitchens, that guy. So yeah, there's like a lot of people, a lot of stuff that I like from the UK. It's just oh my god, like anything else. The politics is just crap. And honestly, hopefully people will actually speak out against this kind of nonsense. Oh my god, I forgot something else. It was Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Those movies are really good. But anyway, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler